Hello and welcome to Florida Focus. I'm Jamil King. And I'm Cheyenne Pagan. The Florida primary is less than two weeks away. Reporter Alexis Jones explains the extra steps being taken to protect voters from the flu and coronavirus. Hillsborough County is following CDC guidelines to lower the risk of spreading the coronavirus. According to Supervisor of Elections Office, early voting locations will have hand sanitizer stations and wipes for voters and poll workers. Mail-in ballots are another way to participate in the primary. This Saturday is the last day to request a vote-by-mail ballot in Hillsborough County. Early voting starts tomorrow in Hernando and Citrus County, Manatee, Pinellas, Pasco, and Sarasota counties being Saturday. Reporting for Florida Focus, I'm Alexis Jones. Elizabeth Warren is now out of the race for president. Several other candidates are no longer running, but are still on the ballot. The supervisor of elections will tally up every vote, but early voters cannot get a do-over if their candidate dropped out. Black History Month may be over, but the struggle isn't. Nova Charles was at a local museum that's honoring people who fight for the right to vote. The Sulphur Springs Museum and Heritage Center welcomes visitors to the Civil Rights in the Sunshine State exhibit. It tells the story of the struggle for African American rights in Florida. And it's here just in time to remind us what civil rights activists fought for. How important it is for you to vote. Your vote counts. And if you're not represented, um, then the people you put in office can do whatever they want to. Reporting for Florida Focus, I'm Nova Charles. The Hillsborough County Commission unanimously approved doubling developer fees. They say the money is needed to build new schools. Hillsborough County is projected to grow at 1.3% each year, adding approximately 22,000 persons per year. Recent studies show that the district will eventually need 38 new schools to keep up with the growing population. It's a one-time, upfront charge that developers pay. The fee is then included in the price of the new home. The impact fees will be collected in unincorporated Hillsborough County, Tampa, Plant City, and Temple Terrace. We now know the long-anticipated opening date for the St. Pete Pier is May 30th. Mayor Rick Kreisman made the announcement on a video posted to the city's website. The $92 million project has been under construction since 2017. The 26-acre pier district will offer free admission to the public. That's all we have for Florida Focus. Thank you for watching.